Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time, welcome to the family. We are the podcast that turns your ideas into an amazing adventure every single day. You know, we couldn't even exist without imaginations from kids just like you. So if you have an idea for a story, I'd love to see it. Check down in the show notes below for how you can submit your own story idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. And parents, if you're new to kids podcasting, I want to challenge you to listen to podcasting for five days in a row with your kids. It's going to increase their imagination, decrease screen time, and we're going to have a lot of fun along the way. Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. Jace and Tim were getting ready for bed one night when they heard a loud crash outside. They dropped their toothbrushes and ran toward the front door. Jace ripped it open and the boys both stuck their heads outside and peered into the dark. There, on the front lawn, sat what looked like a trash can. What is that? asked Jace, frowning. Just then, two creatures uh, crawled out of the mystery trash can and started running towards them. The creatures reached the light of the porch and the boys saw that they were two small dinosaurs. Before Tim could push the door closed, the dinosaurs spoke. Hi there, uh, what a time travel? Called out the smallest of the two dinos. He had a few feathers poking out around his neck and arms. He looked a bit like a balding turkey. Tim stopped closing the door when he heard it speak. You're... You're a time-traveling dinosaur? Uh, Cool. He slipped his shoes on and ran outside. Jace followed closely behind. So where's your time machine? Asked Jace to the dinosaurs. They pointed to the trash can in the middle of the yard. Um, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, responded Jace. That's a trash can. Worrying, you know, they might have made the wrong choice coming outside with these dinosaurs that must have lost their minds. No, 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 that's that's just for disguise. Come, come see for yourself. The dinos introduced themselves while the boys followed them to the trash can time machine. Uh, Very skeptical, but hopeful. Okay, well, nice to meet you, Turbo and Bones, responded Tim. The dinosaur stood proudly in front of it, showing it off. Pretty nice time-traveling machine, right, boys? The boys frowned. It still looked like a trash can to them. Get in, it's time to go, Turbo called out. He scrambled in through the top of the can, followed by the other dinosaur. Tim peeked over the edge. Whoa, he said before diving in as well. Wait for me, called out Jace. Now that the boys were inside, they saw that the dinosaurs were right. It was way bigger than it seemed from the outside, and it looked like the inside of a spaceship. There were buttons and levers and everything shiny chrome and red in color. So, where to first? The dinos asked the boys. Mm, the Jurassic era, shouted Jace. No, the future, shouted Tim. Unfortunately, Turbo heard Jace, while Bones heard Tim. Both of the dinosaurs poked their buttons at the same time and... Oh dear. The time machine began to shake and rumble. The boys wobbled around the time machine and trying to not fall over. Is this supposed to happen? Shouted Jace as his voice was shaking along with the walls of the time machine. Bones was frantically grabbing levers while Turbo shouted, Nope, definitely not how this is supposed to go. 
everyone flew to the right side of the room as the time machine tipped abruptly. Then it did the same to the left. Hold on, everybody! Shouted Bones. All the lights inside the time machine flickered and went out. Total darkness. Just close your eyes for a second with me. Yeah, that's how dark it was. Then it felt like they were falling through the sky. Everyone screamed together. The lights flickered back on and the time machine landed on its side with a big thud. The dinosaurs crawled out first, followed by Jace and Tim. The boys looked around at their dark surroundings. Cages were barely visible under the dim lights placed every few feet. It felt like someplace familiar, but not the same as they remembered. A growl sounded from a nearby enclosure, and Tim asked, Um, guys, are we inside of a zoo? Holy smokes! What has happened? These time-traveling dinosaurs, it seems like they have both not gone to the Jurassic Park past or to the future. But have they mistakenly gotten trapped inside of a zoo? I'm not sure what's going to happen next. We are going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Short Stories. Great job, you listened all the way to the end and... It's time for Kid Shoutouts! I want to say hey to Phoenix from British Columbia, Lillian from Illinois, Isaac from Indiana, Kenzie from New Jersey, Oliver from North Carolina, Shelby from Colorado, and Emerson from Ontario, Canada. I'm so glad that you're all on the Kid Short Stories family. We could not have this much fun with imagination without you, my friends. Well, You have a super duper day and I'll see you next time. Bye.